All right, people, so here is the deck profile for Newbound Zectors again. You know, it was there, it got kicked off, it got put back, like, pretty soon, and it got kicked out, and now it's getting kicked off again. Uh, you get to just have it, it's your Bells, it's in Zectors, you know, you could probably run a better version of either or deck, but, you know, it did have some synergy. It was fun. I enjoyed it while it was here, and then it's time to go, you know. So, um, this is before the ban list. So, you know, if Hornet, if you moved up, if you moved up, then hey, more, run more Hornet, sure. But, uh, if you didn't, then hey, understandable as well. But, uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the deck profile and, uh, go ahead and discuss. So, uh, for some reason, this deck is or yeah, ordered weird, because usually I play, like, Ubel first and stuff. But, no, for some reason, I think I just threw this deck together and went, you know, card at a time. So, of course, you run, uh, Double Armageddon and Double Dark Griffin. You probably don't, I, I mean, Triple Armageddon and Triple Dark Griffin. You probably don't need to run Triple Dark Griffin. You could probably cut him down. Um, if Hornet went up to three, I'd probably cut him. He'd probably be the one to get cut, because at that point, I don't need as much sending, and I don't need, need as much discarding. So, I'd probably go ahead and put Griffin down to, like, one, and put Hornet up to three, because, yeah. So, for right now, I enjoy these, you know, all my monsters are dark, so, you know, let's go ahead and easy, just be like, all right, summon Dark Griffin, send Hornet, send you Bell. You know, let's go Zactor, so, uh, nice. Uh, of course, we run Debris Dragon, the same reason why we always run Debris Dragon to summon New Bell, but also summon Sand for the Chaos, and, uh, do play, see play that way. But also, there's also one more play that, uh, Debris Dragon can do in this particular deck, and that is actually summon Hornet itself, which is, of course, summon your attack level 3, so I can actually go Debris Dragon, summon Hornet, go into Black Rose, and wipe your butt, so, uh, not bad, not a bad play. And, of course, in case I'm not going defensive and I want to wipe the field but I want to go on offensive, I do have Clear Wing Synchro Dragon, who's of course a dragon that I can't go into with the Breach Dragon, so not bad. And uh, of course we run Triple Centipede, you know, with Centipede at 3 the deck is still working, but you know, as long as it doesn't get uh, Dragonfly. Dragonfly is a dumb one, Hornet, that's fine, increase your consistency of your plays, that's fine, you're still not going to do anything, but as long as Dragonfly is at 1. If Dragonfly was at 3, just think of the stupidity, just think of the stupidity, because you know, Dragonfly is like, once per turn, but it's not, you can only use the effect of Dragonfly once per turn, so you can go ahead and go, Summon Dragonfly, equip, unequip, pop, Summon Dragonfly, equip, unequip, pop, Summon Dragonfly, equip, unequip, pop, Summon Centipede, equip, unequip, pop, search, you know, so, literally, I just popped four cards on your field, and I went plus four, like, that's, it's still crazy, I'm sorry, you know, people are like, oh yeah, Dragonfly up to like two or maybe three, like, no! Hornet can move, Dragonfly needs to stay at one. If you want to go Dragonfly, equip, unequip, pop, summon centipede, equip, unequip, pop, search, that's still a powerful play, at least it's not as busted. So, Dragonfly, you remain at one. One Dragonfly. That's it, you know? And that's from a person who's actually playing the deck. One Dragonfly, you know? Because I do some stupid shenanigans with, of course, like C plays and, you know, revival. So, uh, multiple Dragonflies, like, uh uh, you know? And, you know, this is still one of the dumbest decks to have Soul Charge, so, yeah. I run the Triple Hopper, and the reason why I run the Triple Hopper is because A, it's a 17 beater, B, it can still pop, even though it doesn't get a plus effect like Centipede or Dragonfly, and C, it is a level 4, so, you know, I can go ahead and do some mixy plays with it. Uh, I was playing Ladybug, and then I was like, I don't like Ladybug, he doesn't bring anything new to the table besides C plays, so, uh, nah, I'd rather have a 1700 beater who pops and, you know, is level 4. Uh, Alright, and then of course the one Hornet. Like I said, if this moves up on the ban list, then, you know, go ahead and make the changes. Take out Dark Rapper, put in more Hornet. Done. Uh, of course, Mask Million, same place as always. Take the Chaos, same place as always, and then three forms of Ebel. Done. Alright, so, 22 monsters this time. Ooh, yeah, a couple more. I guess I could cut the Dark Graffers. <laughs> uh, under Spell Cards, Triple Rota, of course. Consistency, I love it. Soul Charge, one of the most broken Zack that you can play Soul Charge in. You know, because eventually my Insector's going to get to the graveyard, you're going to kill my Centipede, you're going to kill my Dragonflies, and I can literally go, alright, Soul Charge, summon back, like, you know, even though I summon back a, one Centipede and one Dragonfly and pay 2,000, I still just broke, because I can just go, equip and equip, pop, search, equip and equip, pop, summon, equip and equip, pop, search, you know, so, you know, just, Soul Charge is so busted in this deck, so busted, but hey, Soul Charge in general is busted, what can you say, Regaki, of course, you know, I got a lot of destruction, but, you know, I still like to go ahead and Regaki, uh, so not bad, and then, of course, the one Foolish, I guess you can go ahead and cut the Dark Reffers down to one, because you don't need them ascending, and if Hornet doesn't move up, run two Dark Golds, but uh, generally I, I like to pop my, you know, my opponent and not myself, but hey. And then, 
I actually run Pocket Dwell in this deck, and you're probably like, well, you know, I don't run Pocket Dwell in any other deck. The reason I'm running here is because, you know, Injectors are kind of slow, you know, besides Dragonfly, you know, most of the time it's just go ahead, grab a Centipede, equip, unequip, pop, search, so, you know, sometimes it's slow enough to just be able to ahead and just take it slow and run Pot in this deck, particularly. Um, so that's the spell cards, trap cards, of course, the, of course, the call, the limb reverse, and the oasis. And the thing is, the limb reverse, that's an attack, guess this is an attack. Yep, dragonfly. So there's been a ton of time to all just be like, all right, dragonfly, equip and equip, pop, summon centipede, equip and equip, pop, uh, search, XC, uh, into one of my monsters that detach, detach the dragonfly, activate limb reverse, call the haunted or oasis, summon back dragonfly. Uh, yes, it's one per turn, but it doesn't say you can only activate the effect of dragonfly once per turn. So if it leaves the field, it comes back, guess what I get to do? Activate the effect again. So equip and equip, pop, search, I mean, summon, equip and equip, pop, search, XC, do and rinse and repeat power you know with soul charge and all these reliable cards you know dragonfly gets stupid and all the insectors get stupid but hey it was fun right so extra deck like i said uh black rose because i can do it with the breeze dragon same thing with quarter wing in case i'm on the offensive not the defensive uh hot red because you know he's the go-to synchro when i want to go ahead and do a synchro play with these two i don't do it often but hey if my back's against the wall i have extra an extra deck why not same thing with crap if i want to go ahead and just pop a card why not uh, and Exiton, Castell, 101, Cowboy, uh, King of Fire Limbs, Law Chain, The Huge, and then my uh, threes, uh, Zen Mains, just in case I'm you know, back against the wall, uh, Nightmare Shark, in case I want to attack for a game. Uh, Alley card, Pop a Set card, and of course it's another detached card. Uh, Mechquip Engineer, it's a uh, more defensive card, but still uh, nice and powerful. And uh, Fortune Tune, just in case I want to stall out a little bit. You could probably take Fortune Tune out, but I was like, yeah, I don't know what else to run. Start Fortune Tune, and why not? So, there you go. There's the deck profile of the U-Bound Sector. It probably didn't change much since the last time I did the deck profile, which, you know, wasn't that too long ago. I think it's probably one of the more recent decks of I've been watching a deck, did a deck profile. But, hey, it's off. It's off, and it's not coming back. It is not coming back. I promise you guys that. So, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this deck. Um, on Vitamin Y, all the uh, many videos that I gave you and uh, content that I provided for you. So um, thank you for watching and the continued support. So you got one more deck profile tomorrow, of course being Heraldics, and then uh, weekend off, and then come back Monday, and we are starting the new uh, changes, the new schedule is in effect, so I hope you guys are excited for it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, deck profile of uh, Yvonne Vector. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with the deck profile of Herodics. All right, people. Thanks for watching.